So here's the thing. If you are a content creator, that means a content creator across all social media platforms, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook, we are all subject and we are at the mercy of the algorithms in order for you to grow. You want to get your first 100 subscriber on YouTube, so you need to listen up and pay attention. Hey, my name is Ntutugoti and I'm the guy who wants you to avoid the unemployment line at the end of the global pandemic by starting your own YouTube channel and make money. If you are new to my YouTube channel, consider subscribing because in this channel we speak all things YouTube, all things making money on YouTube, frugal lifestyle and how to make extra income. So if you think this is the type of content that you like, then you are definitely in the right place. How to get your first 100 subscribers on your YouTube channel in 2021 yes all of us we start our youtube channels and we take the journey to growing our youtube channels to 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours and, and then we become eligible for monetization i think that is a goal for every new youtuber I must first say this, that YouTube is not easy. If you are about to start your YouTube journey in 2021, understand this, YouTube is not easy. But it can be fun if you are disciplined as well as have a vision for your YouTube channel. And most importantly, patient about growth because you need to buckle up. Unfortunately, when you upload your first video on YouTube, that does not mean that you are going to just take off and blow up on YouTube. Yes, there have been people who started their YouTube channels yesterday and by today they've blown up. I just had a conversation with someone who started their YouTube channel on the 1st of December this year. This very December we are in. In 25 days, he managed to grow his YouTube channel from zero to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And now he is in the process of monetization. I was like, that is so unfair of YouTube that I started my YouTube channel in September. Well, actually, I started uploading seriously in September because I started my YouTube channel on April 3rd. Unfortunately, around April 9th or so, I contracted Rona and as a result, I could not upload videos on my YouTube channel for at least five months. And I knew that it was going to be an uphill battle, but this video is not about me. This video is about all of us that are still taking this journey towards 1000 subscribers. But first, do not be that ambitious because if you are that ambitious, you are going to get yourself into trouble with your YouTube channel where you may end up giving up because you set for yourself unmanageable goals and targets for your YouTube channel. So starting small and build on it is very important. So I've got some few pieces of advice for you on how you can make your YouTube journey a little easy and bearable building up to your first 100 subscribers. And then I'm going to tell you what strategies that I used to my first 100 subscribers. The toughest challenge that you are going to face as a YouTuber, especially a starter YouTuber, is yourself. Yes, you are your own worst enemy when you start your own YouTube channel. And I'm going to expand on what I mean by that. So here you were, enthusiastic about starting your own YouTube channel, you post one video and the next time we see you is after six months. Remember my opening statement? If you are going to be a content creator on any social media platform, you are at the mercy of the algorithms. That includes me, that includes every person that is a content creator on social media. Yes, even on YouTube. So don't think that if you upload one video and six months later you come back and then you're going to see growth. No, <laughs> the, algor the YouTube algorithm doesn't play games. I don't know who did what to the YouTube algorithm, but so definitely you are not going to see growth if you are not going to be uploading videos on a consistent basis. Speaking of which, be consistent. Consistency is the key on YouTube. Content is king. Consistency 
is the key for your success on YouTube, especially if you are going to move from zero subscribers to your first 100 subscribers. You've got to be consistent. Consistency is the toughest challenge that you are going to face. Number one, it is you who is your own enemy, and that is the toughest challenge that you are going to face. Then on top of that, you have consistency because there'll be days where you're going to feel like, oh my goodness, the previous video, it did not do well, or in no worst part, it did not even have any views. And so you're a little bit discouraged and therefore your consistency slacks. And that is when you are actually killing your dream of becoming a YouTuber. This word consistency is always going to be in my mouth every time I do a video on all things YouTube because it is such an important word that basically got many YouTubers where they are today. I'm talking successful YouTubers. Don't create content that nobody cares about. Create content that people are searching for on YouTube. Well, you know my little pet hate. I don't want to say it, but a day in my life, oh my goodness, I just said it. Nobody's looking for that type of content, especially when you are still a starting YouTuber. That will only work for you when you are already established a community that cares about you, that is loyal to you, and that is curious to know how is your day in your life. You can knock yourself out with a day in my life videos from that point on. Right now, you need to focus on building a YouTube community and it is a tough job because you've got to build authority, you've got to build some influence, and then from there you can do as you please. As per whatever your audience is interested in and also watching on your YouTube channel. So having said that, if you can take this advice that I've given you because I've used it myself, you are going to see your first 100 subscribers in 2021 after you have started your YouTube channel. So as we are moving towards 2021, make it your ambition that when you draw up your New Year's resolution that you include your first 100 subscribers as a goal to meet by the end of March. Yes. Say by the 31st of March 2021, I am going to reach 100 subscribers. I started like that as well. I told myself by the 31st of December, I must have met my 100, my first 100 subscribers and working towards my 4,000 watch hours. So I reached my first 100 subscribers on the 21st of December 2020. So already that was a victory for me because I did some strategy changes on my YouTube channel, which I'm going to speak about as part of helping you to, to meet your first 100 subscribers in 2021. I can't emphasize this enough. Make sure that when you grow your YouTube channel, that your YouTube, that your subscribers are organic, that your viewers are organic. Trust you me, there have been YouTubers who've had their YouTube channels terminated by YouTube because they violated some terms of services that YouTube has put in place. And also some YouTubers, they've had their YouTube channels terminated because they violated community guideline rules as well as YouTube policies. It's so important that when you start your YouTube channel, read up on all that is expected of you as a YouTuber because YouTube has regulations. Learn those regulations. It's so important. I cannot emphasize this any more than I have done previously and also repeating in this video. Read, read, read and be informed so that you do not make mistakes like other YouTubers have made. So strategy number one is frequency. So what frequency mean on YouTube? Basically, it means how many times a week do you post on your YouTube channel? Some people are comfortable uploading a video a week. Some people are comfortable uploading five times a week. 
some seven times a week, some three times a week, some twice a week. But what is the correct frequency to uploading videos on YouTube, especially when you are still a new YouTuber? And the answer is pretty simple. In the beginning, it is okay for you to upload videos as frequent as possible, five times a week even. The reason why I'm saying this is because you are still trying to find your viewers, your potential subscribers, and you want to feed them with all the content that you have for the first month because at the end of your first month of uploading consistently on YouTube, you will have found a group or even a number of people that have noticed your YouTube channel, not that they've subscribed to your channel, but noticed it and perhaps they've viewed your YouTube videos and maybe are thinking of subscribing to your YouTube channel provided that they had some sort of satisfaction with the previous videos that you have uploaded. And yes, quality is going to be compromised in your first month of uploading YouTube videos because you'll be concerned about uploading frequently on your YouTube channel to get these potential subscribers to subscribe to your YouTube channel. And that is okay. I know there are a lot of people that are going to talk to you about quality versus quantity. As a matter of fact, YouTube channels that have blown up usually are YouTube channels that uploaded quantity type of content. Not because the YouTuber is a person that, that does not care about quality, but it's a person who is saying, listen, I'm here, notice me. At the moment, this is what I can afford to do for you. But my goal is to add value to your life. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you think that this content is interesting to you. So it is okay to adopt quantity at this stage in your YouTube channel. YouTube is also a learning journey. You too, you will learn and find your voice and find your own personal styles when it comes to your YouTube videos. So don't be discouraged. Try your level best to serve the people with the best content that you've got. And that way you are going to win people over by subscribing to your YouTube channel. And I realized that uploading once a week was not working for my YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, I would not get any views, let alone a subscriber. So I changed up my strategy. I posted a video about how often you should upload on YouTube before you start seeing growth. So after I had started uploading three times a week, that was in October, like mid-October. I wanted to see how my channel was going to perform if I uploaded three times a week. Lo and behold, when I started uploading videos three times a week, that's when I started seeing life in my YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, by the end of October, 13 people had subscribed to my YouTube channel. About a week later, another 13 people subscribed to my YouTube channel. By mid-November, I already had 55 people have subscribed to my YouTube channel. By early December, around the 5th of December, I already had 80 people subscribe to my YouTube channel. On the 21st of December, I met my first 100 subscriber on my YouTube channel. So frequency does play a role how fast your YouTube channel is going to grow. Again, the YouTube algorithm is waiting on you to be consistent and persistent in uploading videos on your YouTube channel before it will recognize you and then push your content to a bigger audience. So the second strategy is get people to understand what your YouTube channel is about from the beginning. If your YouTube channel is about fashion or lifestyle or about baking or about YouTube or about travel, let people understand that your YouTube channel is about that. I'm not speaking about a niche. I'm just talking about the look and feel of your YouTube channel before a person can decide whether they are subscribed to your YouTube, to your YouTube channel or wait until they actually understand what your YouTube channel is all about. So be clear from the get-go. Remember, you are creating content for people. You're not creating content for yourself. Because if you're going to make content about yourself, guess what? It's your YouTube videos are going to be about you. Day in your life. Vlogging. 
stuff that people are not looking for on YouTube, let alone interested in, because nobody knows you. Please understand that, especially when you are starting out as a YouTuber, because this can mess your YouTube algorithm if you are going to create content of such nature. And then maybe at a later stage, you realize that my YouTube channel is not growing and then you want to pivot and, and the YouTube algorithm will not be trusting you that you are going to be uploading consistent niche on your YouTube channel because you've been doing stuff that nobody is looking for on YouTube. Don't hate me for it. And my third strategy, upload videos every 48 hours if you are going to upload videos three times a week. The reason why I'm saying that, let's say you upload a video about YouTube, for example. On Monday, you upload a video about the shoe brush. And then on Tuesday, you upload a video about a comb. And then on Wednesday, you upload a video about an Africom. Now, the YouTube algorithm is going to be like, um, okay, you lose out. But if you are going to upload your YouTube videos like this, on Monday, you upload a video about the shoe brush. And you give the YouTube algorithm time to look at the shoe brush, collecting data. Oh, the shoe brush is about how to grow your YouTube channel in 2021. And then once it has understood what the shoe brush is about, and it has collected all the data that it needs, and it knows now to which views this shoe brush should go to, and therefore it takes it and promotes it to that audience. And then after 24 hours to 48 hours, you upload another video about a comb. And once again, what the YouTube algorithm does for the next 24 hours is look at the comb and determine that, hmm, the comb is about how often you should upload on YouTube to grow your YouTube channel faster. And then it determines the audience that is going to send this video to. Remember, it is about YouTube. Therefore, the shoe brush is still about YouTube. It's going to promote the comb to the same views that it promoted the shoe brush to. And therefore, it promotes that video. And then come Friday, that's 24, is it 48 hours later? Then you upload a video about an Afrocomb. Now the Afrocomb, let's say it stands for um, how to optimize your YouTube videos in order to get views on your YouTube videos. Once again, for the next 24 hours, the YouTube algorithm has collected all the data and, and it's going to send it to the same viewers that it sent the comb and the shoe brush to because it's all things YouTube. There are viewers who are interested in all things YouTube content. So do you see why it's so important that you do not upload videos one after the other? Because the YouTube algorithm is now going to have time to determine what is what and where it should send it to. Again, the if you are a content creator, you are at the mercy of the algorithm. The fourth strategy, and this one is so important, and I will not be able to emphasize it any more than I will in this video. Respect your subscribers and your audience. I don't know how many YouTubers that I have unsubscribed because they don't respect us as their viewers and subscribers. So here you are. You took your time, your data, your energy, and clicked onto my YouTube video, watch my video from the beginning to the end, and then you make a comment maybe somewhere in between my video, and Dutugo uh, Own Me does not pay you the respect by responding to your comment, let alone give you a red heart or like. 
that is detrimental to your YouTube channel if you are going to disrespect your subscribers and your viewers. So just because you have a YouTube channel, that does not make you a celebrity. Even if you are a celebrity, you still need to be approachable, okay? So do not make the mistake of growing a big head because if you are going to disrespect your subscribers, unfortunately, you are foolish. Respond to every comment. Yes, even if there are a million of them. What is wrong with you giving a person a red heart? How long does it take to give a person a red heart? Think about it. Strategy number five, niche down. When you are starting out, it is okay for you to experiment with different types of content until you find the one that you are most comfortable with and then you niche down and pursue that niche for the rest of your YouTube journey. So I don't think I need to explain this one because it's self-explanatory, so let's move on. Strategy number six, ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Yes, there are some YouTubers that discourage starter YouTubers not to ask for subscribers. It makes them look desperate. My challenge is first, before you heed that advice, go and check their subscriber count. Watch how their subscriber count is 100,000 subscribers, 250,000 subscribers, 500,000 subscribers. They act as if that they fell from the sky. They were where you were at at some point. And I can bet my last nail that if you go to the earlier videos, you are going to hear them inviting you to subscribe to their YouTube channel. So why now when they are big YouTubers, now they tell you not to beg for subscribers. As a matter of fact, asking for subscribers grows your YouTube channel. So do not be afraid to tell people what your YouTube channel is about and then ask them to subscribe to the, to your YouTube channel. And no, you will not be violating YouTube terms of service. If you ask for subscribers, because people are already watching your YouTube video. Where it becomes wrong is when you ask for sub for sub. You go to people's comment sections and then ask for sub for sub. That is frowned upon by YouTube and that could get your YouTube channel terminated by YouTube if you ask for sub for sub. Don't ask for sub for sub. It is a terms of service violation when you do that. And the worst part about sub for sub when you finally become eligible for monetization and then your YouTube channel goes under review and they discover that you have been asking for sub for sub, your YouTube channel will most definitely not qualify for monetization. Imagine all that hard work to get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours only to be told that you violated terms of service by asking for sub for sub. Come on, don't do it. It is not worth it, okay? Just don't. My seventh and last strategy. So this is what I want you to do. Go and download a subscriber button and then uh, go to your YouTube studio. Under branding, click on the subscriber button and then click on throughout the entire video. So basically what the YouTube will do is going to take that subscriber button and turn it into a watermark where people, while they're watching your YouTube video, they can actually subscribe to your YouTube channel. So have that subscriber button on your YouTube channel. If you're watching my video, it's on the right, it's, okay. It's on the right hand corner of my YouTube video. You will see it, it's red, written, subscribe. But also don't forget to tell people to turn on the notification bell so that whenever you upload a new video, they will get notified. Also, don't be afraid to remind people that to subscribe to a YouTube channel, it is free of charge. Once your YouTube algorithm figures what your YouTube video is about, then it is going to do the rest. It will check how many people click to that video, how many people stayed watching that video for a long period of time and if that YouTube video was successful enough for it to push it. So always have that in mind when you create your YouTube videos. 
that way you when you do that and the youtube algorithm pushes your videos to a bigger audience then you gain subscribers and that's how you are going to make your first 100 subscribers in 2021 if your content speaks to the people and finally my friend connect with your subscribers connect with your potential subscribers connect with people when you connect with people you are able to build trust you are able to build a relationship and therefore a community that is going to be loyal to you and your youtube channel and that way you can even get away with anything that you are going to upload on youtube that is outside of your niche you see where a day in your life comes in you see where a vlog comes in yep at that stage when you have a loyal following at this particular point in time you have no business whatsoever creating youtube videos all about you nobody cares sorry so having said that i hope that i connected with you and you probably have some sort of trust in me and i'm willing to build a relationship with you therefore Subscribe to my YouTube channel where I speak all things YouTube, all things making money on YouTube, where I speak also all things making money online, frugal living, as well as passive income streams for you to make some extra cash. So if this video has added some value to your YouTube journey, then please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel you know what's the deal there and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video and please comment down below and let me know how is your youtube journey is going how far are you in terms of subscribers have you reached your first 100 subscribers yet thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching my youtube video let's see each other again in my next upload goodbye